Okay, so this is the part uh, that we showed you on the slide. Let's take a minute to to look at what's going on with this. Uh, we have a a block in the back, okay, and we have the part positioned on the radial axis at uh, the world origin uh, in Rhino, okay, and the rotational axis extends in the positive y uh, direction. So we also, you can see here, we've got uh, this relatively complex, uh, I guess you could call it a groove, or if you want to call it a pocket, uh, that we need to machine, and we're going to uh, show you uh, one of the good ways to do that. Okay, so let's um, initially, for any part, when you, you know, when you bring it up and look at it, you got to decide uh, how you're going to machine it, think about it in your mind, how you're going to approach it, uh, how you're going to orient the part uh, in uh, in the CAD system. And as we mentioned, we have it oriented flush to the left. The center rotational axis origin is on the left, and the rotational axis extends uh, in the Y. Okay, so let's go up to uh, the program tab. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any operations, and I have some of the tools already defined. Uh, if you want to learn more about tools, uh, we have plenty of other videos uh, go, which goes uh, into tool creation in depth. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start up the top left, and we're going to work our way down this menu uh, all the way over to uh, the four axis operation types. So let's just take a look at the machine real quick. Uh, the machine is a manual definition. We got it set to four axis, and we got the configuration uh, on the table. Okay, and also we have uh, the fourth rotary uh, primary axis is in the plus Y, as I mentioned, extending this way, and then we have uh, no limit and the rotational axis uh, limit selection. That's all you need to do for the machine definition. We're going to pick OK. Now, take a look at the post. Uh, basically, any any of our uh, posts that are set up for multi-axis motion uh, will work with four axis. Um, if you're new to the product and you're new to, new to uh, posts, um, you can just drop us an email and ask if your post is set up for multi-axis motion, and we'll take a look at it and verify that it is. Okay, so I have it set to Haas post. For the setup, I have one, setup one by default is defined, and that is aligned with the world origin here on the left. So we got two these two toggles right here, toggle the world origin off, and toggle the uh, machine coordinate system on and off. 